Hey, this is Scott Hassey, and today I'm going to tell you about the two-seam fastball. We've talked about the four-seam fastball and all the other pitches. Today we're going to talk about two-seam. But before I even get into the two-seam, I'm saying this in every video, we've got to make sure of three things. Number one, you take into consideration hand size. So if my hand size is smaller or bigger than the next person, especially the person teaching me, that is going to have something to do with, and it's going to mess up potentially what your grip would look like. The next thing is going to be comfort. If you're not comfortable with the way that it's being taught to you, then I'm sorry, but it's probably not going to be a very good pitch for you. And then lastly, just repetitions. If it's a brand new pitch for you, you got to get the reps. It's like the free throw theory. The more free throws you shoot, the better you get. The more you pick and choose a comfortable grip and throw it, the better it's going to get. So let's break down the two seam. The reason it's called two seam is because at all times you're going to see, you guessed it, two seams. All right. So here's one variation. The seams right here, one, two, you can see those. You're going to put your fingers across it. It's going to make a hashtag, hashtag sign, just like that. That's one variation. The other variation is just to rotate the ball. And now you see two seams here and you're going to just do two seams across. Variations within each of those. If you have the two seam hashtag, we'll call it. That one you can have right directly across, just like that. You can have it slightly off if that's just more comfortable because your hand size slightly over here. Your finger size is going to vary it up as well. I like to have guys have the middle of the top of their finger here, so this last knuckle area, have that be centered right on the seam, as opposed to me putting the middle of my knuckle right across like this, we're going to put it right there. If you're too far out like this, you're going to end up being on the leather, and if you're too far this direction, you'll be on the leather as well, and it just gets slippery. So that's with that one. As far as width. You can be a little wider. You can be a little more close. It's going to depend again on your hand size for guys that are smaller or younger in age with small hands. A lot of them end up throwing a three finger and that's fine or a four finger. It's just a matter of when the ball comes off the fingers. Do you see the two seams and the two seams that makes it a two seam. Now, if you want to go what's called with the seams for your two seam, you go literally with them. Your fingers are right on top of them and you can be anywhere you want in there. Some guys like to be inside of it. Their fingers are a little closer together. Some guys like to be right on top. If you get too far out, that gets into the splitter, which you can watch that video too, but we don't want to go too far out because that becomes a splitter. We want to be still directly behind the baseball so that we can get as much force and throw it as hard as we can. From a movement standpoint and an objective standpoint, what we want our goal to be with the two seam fastball is for the most part, it's probably going to go relatively straight, but it may also have some movement what's called cut and tail. So I don't want to bore you too much with it, but the easiest way to remember cut and tail is if I take, I'm a lefty, if I take my hand up, I remove the ball and I make a C. C is cut. Cut starts with a C and the C is pointed in that direction. That is a cut. So if my two seam cuts, it's going to move that direction for me as a lefty. For a righty, cutting, going to move that way. It also might tail, which is just the opposite of cutting. So if I'm a lefty and the C cuts, the opposite would be it tailing. So it might move this way. The reason being is because of airflow, crazy science stuff going on with the airflow that I'm not smart enough to completely understand. And a lot of people don't, but the airflow on the ball, because of the way it's moving can force it to go in different directions. Also, if my hands are just, or my wrist is in a different position that can all change what the ball does in flight. But from a grip standpoint, you've got two options with the seam here or against the seams. Both are your two seam fastball.